Hello everyone, today I will show you how you can configure uh, or convert all of your uh, cloud connected VA devices into uh, local devices in your home assistant. So I have added only 31 devices in TIA from TIA app uh, in home assistant and I have to convert uh, rest of the devices uh, into Local, uh, local devices so I have only configured uh, 20 devices as a local device so to do the conversion I have to log in into my PIT platform account so I have lo already logged in and I have to open the API explorer from here so if I click on API explorer it will be uh, open another tab also go to the de development so I can debug the device and check the device status. It's loading. So from IT platform to IT platform, uh, we are inside the API Explorer. So we have to go to the smart home device system then go to the device management I have to go to the device management and then we can get the device details and device status so we are going to use the device status and while you are configuring the converting the two year devices into local device you have to remember that uh, so you have to remember this section like uh, you have one two three four four control in configuration and the light also the brightness so we are replicating this to a app connected device into a local device so we have to replicate the same control configuration for the local device so right now if i click on the device configure section so i am going to add a new device so i click on new device so it will automatically configure uh, found founds all of those devices and you can select and configure it so I am going to configure the bedroom on back so I'm clicking on it and you can check the data device ID so I am going to copy the device ID and I'm going to paste it over here so I can get the device details from here and also going to open the project so I can uh, control the device from the debug console from the priority platform so it take a second for loading it okay. so there are all of my device so I just uh, simply click on debug device you are doing it Okay. Now I have to paste the ID which I have copied from here. So I pasted the ID so you can you can see that here is a bedroom one back device. And you can see the debug uh, debug console. So I can get the device entities and uh, uh, related to the uh, each control. So you can see the entities all of those entities and if you paste the entity you can get the current status all of this uh, for those entities. So I'm going to click uh, click on it, and it is a, it's a light as you have seen that it is a light. So I'm going to click on submit. You don't have to do anything because it is it it's already uh, grab all of this data. So click on submit. So now you can check the there is a value ID value is false ID number on. So you can check which ID is false. So there is only one which is LED. Switch LED on. So LED light is on, a light is right now off. So you can copy it. Copy a friend name. So I'm going to name it as a light and brightness value, which is the brightness value. So uh, current brightness value for the 
color so I have to change the brightness color so the brightness value is 1000 so uh, this uh, which is number 2 id number 2 so I am selecting it at the minimum brightness you can check it uh, from here from the device, uh, device, device console minimum brightness is 10 and maximum is 1000 so minimum is 10 I have to type it right now and so download the light section you can submit once you are adding, uh, once you are done adding the light, we have to make sure that to uncheck this option because we have to add uh, four more controls in this device. So uncheck it, and we have the type is a selection. So we have to select the selection. Sorry for the background noise. And select option. To select the select option. Now I have to select the minimum brightness and all, all of those three options. So now, so let's start with the 21 ID. So which option? Now an option. I have to. So we are getting the device status from here. So here is the light mode is now. So see, you get the light mode. I am copy, I'm just copying the. So I have to copy the light mode. So I'm the I'm using the final view. So indicator light mode, indicator light mode has indicator light mode because indicator light mode has three entity options. First one, I have to paste it up into the instruction of three M. So pasting it over here. I have to copy it again. On the PRT platform, uh, it over. so makes it to add the colon in between and have to uh, place the friendly name uh, and according to the uh, entity status, otherwise, it will not work perfectly. So, off indicator. So, first one is off, you can give any name if you want. You want for this uh, friendly section, but you have to uh, give the exact name for the entity. So you just have to copy the those three entities uh, for three options. So you get light switch mode off. So you just have to copy it from here and separate it by colon. Another is indicators indicate switch location, so it's uh, indicating the switch location. So having the upper section text, and this section. So now we, we have another selector switch from here, so click on submit. So light source type. So for number four value is LED. So I have to check which is which value is LED. So here is the LED type, and what it is. So LED type, incandescent, uh, LED incandescent and halogen. So here it is. So here is the light source type. Paste it over here. Light source type. I choose type with the LED, condition and halogen. So, testing it over. Condition. Condition. And the one is halogen. It's halogen. And the final name uh, for these three option is same pasting it for your case you can check it but I am pretty sure that the uh, friendly name is same so you can see halogen incandescent and LED so we are done with these two and we just have to add this one and this minimum brightness option so you can click on submit and we have to add another selector Selector, and here is the 
Status, it is really showing really status and if I check the so there's the relay status so it is relay status and friend and name is power and behavior so if I paste the relay status it is off right now and relay status is off non memory you can also change it if you want so I'm pasting it power and behavior and I have to copy all of this is the value of entities uh, the on instrument and uh, under on is memory of this yeah it's memory so I'm testing the memory option and now I have to copy the friendly name of on remember last step so I have got three options for the uh, for this and uh, control so of celebrated by follow on another one is remember the last step so colon separated by colon For one behavior option is done and submit. Now we have a, uh, we have another thing left which is minimum brightness. So if I click on minimum brightness, it is 10. So it's platform, it's not switch, it's number. So click on submit. You can see. Options. So I've got minimum brightness. So we have already configured all of those. So minimum value. So you can set the minimum value over here. So uh, from here I can see the minimum value is 10. So we cannot reduce under 10. So I will get the minimum value 10 and maximum value we have that the countdown. So there is the countdown option and the minimum brightness factors is maximum brightness is 1000 and okay, I'm giving the 1000 hello over here and minimum it states is minimum inc increment in between numbers is one so if you decrease the value or increase the value it is the minimum brightness and check the minimum brightness cool. so minimum brightness is so I have to select the minimum brightness uh, right now you know, minimum brightness ID is 10 so it is the brightness and here is the countdown so if you want to add the countdown you can add the countdown and if you want to add the brightness separately you can also add the brightness separately but I have added this brightness in inside the light so I can uh, reduce and increase the brightness uh, from the light itself and I'm not using the timer for it because I'm going to use the automation timer for my use. If you want, you can also add separate two separate entities for this. So I'm clicking on submit. And now I can click on submit because I don't have any. Uh, I can uh, tick it and just uh, mark it and click on submit because I don't have any uh, entities to add in this device. So click on submit. Yes. So you see, I have added another device. So it is bedroom on back. So let me check. It's working perfectly. So you see, if it's uh, it's working perfectly, I've got lights working over here, and the option minimum brightness. You can see all of this data. So it's almost same as this data. Just uh, has no separate uh, section for the light and configuration, but it's okay to have this section. So this is how you can configure all of your Kia devices. 
and make all of this to your cloud connected device into a local device in your home assistant so please don't forget to like and subscribe